We're live. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Come and join us. A few us. people joining. Yes. We've got lots to show in our lovely button department. Department this week, yeah, because it's been National Button, button Day this week. Yeah. If you button saw the picture day. of Amanda, yes. everyone loved that. That fabulous yeah. picture of Amanda. Taken expertly by Chloe. Yeah. Yeah. Stage, <laughs> stage oh, set by Heather. Yeah. <laughs> Vicky's joined us. Hi, hi Vicky. Vicky. We'll just wait for a couple more, and then I'm going to step back for a sec, and Lucy's going to tell you a bit about the website. New website. It is. Yeah. Got a nice fancy brand spanking new website. Let's get it. We'll get some hearts on. Hello, everyone who's joining us. Hello. Hello. Do you want me to um? Should we make a start then? Yeah, we've got twenty-one. Yeah. Yeah. So um, obviously material girls. Material girls. <laughs> I'm Chloe, and I've some Heather's at the side, and this is Lucy. <laughs> Probably see me a few times. Hi, um, Angela. Hi, Jackie. Hi, guys. So yeah, I just kind of I'm just bobbing on here just to basically. Let you all know that we've got a new Hi. website that's gone live yesterday morning. Yeah. Um, some of you might have seen it, some of you might not. Uh, but we'd love to hear your feedback on what you think of it. And there's also some features on there that are a little bit different. Uh, there's one where you can actually. Oh, the new website is brilliant. Oh, that's good. Yeah, there's a feature that you can actually upload your own photos. So, say you went on to. Um, a fabric for example and you've made something using that fabric you can actually submit your own photos and it'll show so that all our customers can see what you've made yeah we're sisters by the way yeah, yeah. No, I'm, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm the youngest she's the eldest <laughs> everyone says we look alike i'm the middle one <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted to mention that just to say um, that there's a few features that we're working on at the minute and that's one of them that's quite cool and a little bit different. So yeah, please do let us know what you think of the website and um, yeah, that's that's it from me really. just wanted to hop on, hop on and so show that. my face. Um, yeah, and you'll see Lucy more in Instagram every week. Yeah, on our yeah, Instagram on Tuesday. Tuesday with me, me Chloe and yeah. Olivia. Yeah. Um, Hi Jennifer. So I'll let um, oh, Heather take me, my so. place um, yeah. and I hope you all enjoy. See you later. <laughs> Shall I budge up one? Go on, you should have over. I'll budge up. Hi. We're loving the new site. The Everyone's new website. It. I was it's having a proper look brilliant. at it yesterday. It is really nice. It's so much nicer to look I really at like and, it. and get around. It yeah. looks really good. Yeah. Anyway, we really? have got, right. so as, much. as we say in Chorley, <laughs> shed loads to show you. <laughs> Yes, we have. So what? What? what it's quite nowhere start to start. Um, Should I start with my little one? Yeah. Start with your little one. Yeah. So obviously, I don't know if you all know. I mentioned it on the Instagram. I do a lot of baking because we always have a cake Friday here, um, and we all take a turn to bake a cake, don't we? Once a week. Yeah. And we eat it on a Friday. And I made a little oven mitt. Um, we had bread, bread and butter yes, pudding this bread week and butter with cream this week by Amanda and vegan ginger biscuits. Yeah. We're getting very we're having professional crumble. here. We're having crumble <laughs> next week. I haven't decided Ooh, what flavour yet. Crumble, crumble, hot crumble or custard. Mm, Not like the crumble that. that you're used to. Um, so yeah, this is my oven mitt. I've made it out of, um, I bought, what was it called? Afternoon tea. Yeah, Afternoon tea, a fat quarter bundle. Fat quarter bundle. And just had some plain fabric and some spotty fabric for inside and some wadding and the pom-poms. Um, and I thought that's really cute, you know. Yeah, can I just say if you're gonna make if you're going to make um an oven mitt, remember on the bit where you're going to pick up, where you're gonna pick up your pans, put a double layer of yeah. wadding. If you haven't got any wadding that. that's designed for yeah. heat resistance yeah. or for cool bags and things like that, yeah, uh, put a double layer. Of yeah. wadding in your hand here, so that um, you at least get a little bit more. Yeah, a bit more. Thickness. A bit more heat. Yeah. heat it'll be a bit yeah. thicker there, but it'll protect your hands yeah. a little bit more. I, I didn't think about that, and I just went ahead and made it. Um, but they got, and it's out of um, a Debbie Shaw. I think is it the gifts? The gifts for Christmas. Gifts Half yard. Was it one? Was it the one you were giving for the giveaway? No, no. it was one that we're borrowing. Yeah, oh, right. it was a, a gift one. Um, but I thought that's really cute. I'll get that. Yeah, is it here still? Oh, I don't know. Actually. Hang on. I think I've still got it at home. <laughs> not one of these. No. No. Sorry, we've not got the book with us today. Um, hi, Nikki. <laughs> hi, Nikki. Is Joseph with you? Hi, Hiya, Joseph. Hi, Joseph. <laughs> so, yeah, that's our full of today. 
really tough with that. It's really nice pretty. Nice thick if you want. Yeah, you can make, if you've got this one, you can not make a bit matching set for yeah. You could do a pot holder as well, you know, just little yeah. closed pot holders yeah. that you can hang up and look pretty and never stand your pots on. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to get it dirty. <laughs> Give us, you know, any hearts and thumbs up if you're liking anything. Oh, colouring. <laughs> right then, so that's my lovely mix. What, what? Uh, what right, now we've... Sandra, um, yes, that does a lot of your ribbon orders and your wool orders, has been busy making. She's um, made some gorgeous things. She has made. Remember the paper chains, the fabric paper chains. Yes. Well, she's made. The, we showed what she'd made already with the fabric. Chain. She came in today. She's made <laughs> Giant. jumbo ones, giant ones. Look out there! How's if you that? like those, give us lots of uh, yeah, hearts. The hearts and thumbs up. Yeah. Um, you can string them up in the traffic centre. Yeah, oh, I know. You could, couldn't you? They're that big, aren't they? Yeah. Hi, Lorraine. I think you've already said hi. <laughs> I said hi. So um, she done, yeah, she's done this out of um, skiing fabric, I think. Yeah, it's a Moda ski skiing. set. Not one that we sell. No, we don't sell. But she has, like, she's, they've made a little ski lodge at the bottom of the garden. Yeah. yeah. Um, How cute. Like, how pretty are those? So if you like, if you wanted your paper chains bigger. Yeah. Um, there you go. And they are roughly... She said she used roughly 22 inch by three and three quarter and inch put, um, to put make each chain. Buttons on as well. So I made them double sided as well. Yeah. So I think they're lovely. I think they're great. Really. Them. It's a good take on the little ones. Isn't yeah, it? for hanging up. Yeah. yeah. I really like that. So that's those. So that's one of Sandra's. Um, I'm sorry if you're getting your eyes with cellar tape. Man. Yeah, <laughs> Amanda's working behind us. Luce says it's a bit it's quite I could, loud. I yeah, just stop. Stop, stop using the cellar tape. It's a bit away. <laughs> Do you want to move? You could move it elsewhere. <laughs> um, I can't do it. Turf her out of the spot. <laughs> just have a rest. I'll just drink the brew for half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> right, Sandra. Sandra's also been making some we were, trees. So these little Christmas trees, these look at these are a real simple make. This is all on an alpine theme. So these yeah. this looks like just two triangles sewn together. Let me tell you what you all about. Two triangles sewn together. And then she's put a piece of bamboo out of the garden. For the trunk. That is so clever. So simple but so effective with string. Yeah. Oh, just good old fashioned parcel fashion, string or, yeah. or what you use for your garden. String or something, yeah. yeah. I love them. A little so, bit of padding. They're so modern. I just, I just love them. Oh, Olivia, I absolutely love these, huh? <laughs> so she's made but a few of those. I can't really hear you. Sounds like someone's rapping. <laughs> it's me. I'm going upstairs. That's her. Back there. <laughs> That's that's Manda for that's you. That's the button lady. We're that, turfing her out now. Kick me out. We thought it would work, but obviously not. <laughs> it's obviously not. <gasps> and then she's been making these little um these are Danish Oh Chris, the new website design looks great. Love the Christmas trees. The uh this is the Danish star tutorial. Now, there is a link for these. Oh, yeah. well. <laughs> Done these in three sizes. This is lovely. It's like a little folded, folded fabric. I love the big one, mate. I think the big one's good. Yeah. Again, in, in skiing fabric. In ski themes. She does a lot of skiing, Sandra. And this is called the Danish Stars Tutorial. And the actual tutorial says it? how to make a Scandinavian star ornament. Lucy will put a link in. For that it's on YouTube. The crafts is uh, the the company is the Crafts yeah. Channel, so I'm presuming they have lots of crafts on there. And if you're interested, like the large star, she's used approximately the same size, approximately the same size strips of fabric as for making the paper chains, yeah. which is 22 by three and three quarter inches, which is 55 by nine and a half centimeters. If you're in centimeters, yeah. but you could. You know, you could do this out of any fabric, couldn't you? Of course like you can. Any Christmas You fabric. can use your fat quarter bundles. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You might just get, if you just cut them slightly, 22, that should fit out of the yeah. fat quarter yeah. bundle. Um, you could put a button in the middle. Yeah. Um, you could glitz them up. Stars. Or leave them as plain as you want. Yeah. Just Hi, squill. Hello. <laughs> no cats today, I don't think. <laughs> no, I don't think we've got any. So that's, is Sandra made, is that everything? Sandra uh, yeah, that one was slightly different because she missed a bit out, she yeah, said, but, but it still makes it a lovely, nice. a lovely shape. If you've missed some of the points out, nice. get a different shape, which looks great. I think it's fab. So, Put them on your tree, let them walk anywhere. So that is, that's Sandra's, that's Sandra's, that's Sandra's makes. makes for this yeah. week. Yeah. Uh, where will we go next? Um, How about the Christmas stocking? Yeah. So Olivia's been busy. 
um, and she had a go at a Christmas stocking out of the tree fabric that we normally This is like the one that Chloe, yeah, this yeah. is what this has been. <laughs> it's sold yeah. out really this, fast. This fabric sold out, it was, was very pretty, so but if you've got this. you could make it out anything. Um, it's like the one I did, yeah. yeah. And I like the nice plain top because yeah, you could, embroider, you could embroider a name on and it, she, stick felt named on she it. She padded that one as well. Yeah, I it's a little bit quilted. Mine. Yeah. What's Deb? Hello, ladies. Late as usual, but I'm here now. Hi, Deb. It's nice to have you with us. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think she's done really good with that. I think so, she's really proud. Yeah, it's well lovely. Well done, Olivia. <laughs> hang them up. Oh, make lots of those to lovely hang along your ideas. mantelpiece. Yeah. Um, next. We've also got another Christmas tree. We've got another Christmas tree. <laughs> this one is by Amanda. This idea she got off Pinterest, and it's using squares. Yeah. Um... And like, you're folding really the bottom. That. You're folding it's, the bottom point up on each simple, square. But nice. I'll show you the back. It's double layered, so you could do yeah. different fabrics on the back if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, and this one. No. Simple but nice. That's no, I haven't got the link written down for that. But, but uh, Lucy's got it. it in, yeah. Lu no, Lucy's oh, got Lucy it. Got it. Oh. Um, it's always, always a knitter. Yeah, <laughs> There's a few that. people here <laughs> saying that. I'm a knitter. Yeah, I'm a knitter. Yeah. But I've got into sewing. It's uh, sewing sewing all the things yeah. lately. So this is a great way of using up your buttons, obviously from Amanda, yes. a button lady. Button lady. Um, so I think that's really cute for yeah, hanging on your like tree. That. Yeah. And, really you can, and again, you could adjust that by mm. just adjusting the size of your squares. So if you want them much smaller, smaller. If they're just two pieces of fabric yeah. sewn together, turned through. Yeah. That's really, so I really like that. quick and okay. quick and easy. Hi, Anne. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that Christmas. And while we're on the theme of Christmas trees, yeah. Oh, I love this. I made a Christmas tree last yeah, night. Lovely. This one is a three D fabric Christmas tree by Sewing with Abigail. This mm. one, basically, it's four Christmas trees sewn <laughs> together and stitched down the middle. I was. It's so effective. Where's my bit of fabric for showing? I was going to give you a tip, it. an easier tip. It's there, it. it's that orange oh, there. I'll do the orange. There is, we're putting a tutorial up for this, but there was a little bit I found easy. Because you're sewing points to make it a little bit easier just on, than on the tutorial, she tells you, this is just on a bit of note paper, she tells you to make a template on a piece of A4 card, yeah. um, like the size of the A4 paper or card, mm -hmm. on, the, on, the, on the side so that then you can put that, cut that out and put that on your folded fabric. Yeah. So I did that, but if you wanted to get it out of fat quarter bundles, yeah, that was too big. Right. So I just sized it down. You can obviously make these whatever size you want. So just just sketch a Christmas tree the size that you want. <laughs> um, you're good at art. Well, you don't even have to do that. You could even do it I with. Do it. You could do it with straight lines. Use yeah, a ruler. Yeah, draw some points and just yeah. join them with yeah. lines. Yeah. And um, do a rough, and then cut out two. Mm. Cut out two. She says cut out four. Two in each fabric. Joseph likes tree. <laughs> oh. um, and then, instead of cutting out four, because you're basically going to sew this one to another one. Yeah. Uh, but that makes... Ooh. Ooh. Drop in a drop in. I do that every week. That, uh, you're all so talented. When oh, you're sewing you. two trees like that together, obviously sewing to the points yeah. can be quite difficult. Yeah, and, tricky, yeah. and your machine can eat that point. Yeah. Especially as there's no interfacing or anything. So instead of cutting four, I cut two. Yeah. And then I put one face down. And the other one obviously was patterned. And then put that one, pin it face down. I just put two pins down the middle. Yeah. Onto your other piece of fabric. Yeah. Quarter of an inch seam. Sew it on with a quarter of an inch seam all the way around. Leave about a three inch gap at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then cut that one out. Yeah. Cut it out together. It gives oh, you, it's lovely. not going to, you sewing machine's not going to yeah. chew it up then. I yeah. cut it out with my pinking shears afterwards. Right, yeah. That was just a quick just rough one to show you. <laughs> Not what I, to size. Yeah, which I thought would be a good eye. Yeah, a good, good eye. But you can make one that size. Yeah, you can make them any size. You and want. then basically you turn it through. Yeah. Push your points out. Mm -hmm. Um, stuff it. Oh no. Start oh. again. Start again. So so two of those. Yeah. Turn them through. Yeah. Um, and then you put them together. You just press the pin them together. So a straight line down the middle. So a straight line down the middle. Yeah. Stuck that gives you four sections. Just stuff the four sections yeah. and then hand sew it at the bottom. That's the only bit I didn't like. You could do it on your machine, but it's a bit and you're, gonna, you're, you're gonna put bells on our I'm as well. gonna sew little uh, these little bells behind us. 
the little jingly bells. I'm going to sew one of those onto the end of I each of those. That, really nice. uh, I'd have done it last shot. night if I had some at yeah. home, but I, it was, I haven't, so I might have them done for next week. Mm -hmm. So, and then maybe a star on top. Or we was thinking. This is you know, handy. We'll put it on it's next week. <laughs> These little um, oh, these little angels. angels. I was thinking of maybe putting one of them on the top. That's cute. Put yeah, one of them. Really so cute. one of them on the top yeah. and maybe a little ribbon bow. Yeah. To hold oh, it on. That's really nice, that. So there you go. So really, you that is really you can put easy. Put them on your windowsills. Yeah. Put them anywhere and decorate. If, if you wanted to decorate them with writ rack or ribbon or anything, you'd do that while it was once you've cut it out. Yeah. You could do that, or you could sew pieces of ribbon across your fabric, yeah. then cut it out, and then sew that them together, work, and yeah. it would already have them on instead of trying to fiddle about nice afterwards. That, yeah, so, very nice. There well you go, Heather. <laughs> right then, what's next? Bunting. Bunting. Right, yeah, me and Amanda have been on bunting, so I'll show you Amanda's first. Um, I love this. Are we sold out of this fat quarter? We have sold out. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's sold really well. What was it? The tradition? Uh, no, it's traditional, was it? What was it? Glitter Summit. Glitter Summit. Glitter um, Summit, did you oh, hear that? Jennifer's going to try that. Oh, brilliant. Real, got them trees are really cool. Yeah, so I, I can like make them. them. The one in the video was like a, was quite big. Yeah. yeah. Um, be nice for a table centrepiece. Yeah, there you go. So this is the bunting um, ready for her Christmas to go with. I don't know if you watched last week, she made the Christmas tree skirt. Um, and it and it all goes really nicely yeah, together. She's doing a bit of a grain she's mustard theme. Sparkly. Yeah. Um, binding yeah. that that's gone now as well i'm afraid we've got the glow but we've got oh, the got glow, glow which is like a pearlescent finish yeah. isn't it yeah that's yes. really nice that yeah if you yeah 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 um, she's gonna she's gonna, gonna bring that glow bring binding down to show you if you fancy a yeah. bit of glitz for your binding yeah. as opposed to just the plain because i do like the glitz um heather love the tree we'll have to have a go good hey, tree's getting lots of light it is yeah give us give us you know hearts and thumbs ups if you're liking anything to actually sew it it literally took to cut it out and yeah. sew it yeah was probably about i don't know half an hour tops Not bad. half an hour to sew it the yeah. longest bit about doing this was stuffing it yeah i started stuffing it i forgot it i was using you know all those bits of batting Got wadding left over, yeah. put, um left over yeah. you, you chop them up and yeah. you can show you can put those in as stuffing uh -huh. but i i tried putting them in the top but it didn't work so i dug yeah. out me yeah. i have an old i bought a brand new cushion i was just pulling the stuffing out of that <gasps> yeah and stuffed that in into the points yes. and then i used all my wadding Proper for the wider yeah for the wider the wider sections so that you're not throwing it away yeah it's I too know. small to do anything with yeah. but just chop it's it up and, and use it as stuffing oh Sure. Got my material in time to do my bunting. bunting. Oh, Brilliant! The trees, Jackie's loving the trees. Fabulous. So well, I've got another. Sorry, there we are. Another bunting. This is what I made for my bedroom. Um, it's uh, I think it's called. A, is it a mouse's tail? Or a Christmas I think so. Tail, yeah. I think we've still got some left, maybe. Um, and just some um, twenty-five mil bias. Um, and I just made, I, I sort of made this up, the, the size of the bunting. Yeah, well, you can do them whatever size you want, can't you? Well, that's it. Mandas are a little bit wider, you know. You can do them how you want. Um, so, that. yeah, that's my little bunting. So this, we were saying, yeah. the... So this is the the glow, metallic glow ribbon. Try and get a bit of sparkle I, I, on that. I really like that one, actually. This is a lovely bias binding. It's... It has got a sparkly... And got I don't know if you can see that. Oh, thanks, Lynn. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but that's the glow. It's got a lovely what, what pearlescent that sheen. One? That's the rose. Oh, you can see it a bit more on that. That's rose gold, yeah. Well, so we've got a silver as well. That's lovely, that. She's put pins in them on. Yeah. And Stop. there's a silver. Thanks, Luce. Loving the bunting. Yeah. So there's some really nice ones then. I'll so that that's one. an idea for some a gold one. And it bunting. feels, it, I think it always feels nice and soft. That it one. does, it feels nice and soft and smooth. smooth. Yeah. So that's some bunting tape if you want to have a go at bunting. Right, um, just and put you, that and down. You, if you're not sure what size to make your bunting, you can YouTube it. Yeah, pretty know. much. Yeah, and, um, and you'll get everything. They're just, it's just basically two triangles, isn't yeah. it? Like as if you were making trees. Yeah, one of them. Basically. Yeah. yeah. It's just and two triangles. Just, Sort together. Your bias bind it and put it in between your bias binding and yeah. sew it along. Yeah. Nice I've never easy. made any, but I'm presuming. It's, it's yeah. That's what it is. Nice and easy that one. 
Right then, if you've got your bag yeah, I've got my handbag. Um, when this fabric came in, we just push out, it's got darts in this bag. When this fabric came in, was it called um, Northern Lights? Mm. Uh, I was desperate to get some because I had all these visions of all these bags that I was going to make <laughs> with these. So this is the first one that I've made it's and it's just white. gorgeous. It's it goes so white. well with black. Yeah. This is just black faux leather. Yeah. Hello from South Oh, oh hi, Chris. <laughs> Go with the trees, trees everybody wants to make the trees. trees. Which trees? The, the, the 3D tree or the hanging yeah. trees? Um, if you're loving all your mates, you've been such a look oh, So there we go, that's the Northern you Lights. Too. If you're a bag maker, <laughs> if you're not, yeah. this is a really easy bag. And it looks complicated. It is, but, but it's not. It's it's a real easy bag to make. It's a free pattern as well. Oh, okay. Uh, which oh, is even better. Right. It's got... Oh my word, I'm going to have <laughs> empty the bank account. account. <laughs> now this is padded with bozal foam yeah. which we often have we in stock we do have that occasionally but we've yeah. not you could do it with it if you were doing faux leather we don't sell faux leather unfortunately yeah. but you could do this i have done one of these all in cotton all right yeah um as well you use that quiltex wadding oh, you could not... you could put wadding yeah. in yeah um it'll be softer, softer squashier right. yeah. if you use the but yes you can. you can yeah yeah um the foam gives it nice form yeah um but again if you're doing full leather yeah you wouldn't need to, you could do it without putting that in right. but because it's a rounded shape it's nice to have yeah i really do love a that bit shape. of something but this yeah. is by so sweetness which is um an american uh company uh, and this is a free pattern called the oriole pattern now the, it it has two sizes it has this size and it has one that's quite a bit larger yeah which i've done in another silver full leather and then i did one for my mum in like a black cotton what black and white cotton. Because what do you suggest for a beginner? Is that with the trees or uh, the tree? Uh, for a beginner, do you mean as a for making bags or for making decorations? Yeah. Or yeah. Let us know. Let us know what what exactly. Help you. Sorry, I put it in there. Which which um, you mean yeah. or the bunted? Because there's a few of these projects are really easy for a beginner. If yeah. you wanted to yeah. start out making bags, yeah, this is really, really quite easy. easy. There's a free tutorial online that takes you through it from start yeah. to finish. I think Lisa's put a, a link. A link in. She has put the link in, and there's a there's a link for the pattern as well, Lucy. Yeah. I don't know. There's one for the tutorial, yeah. and then there's one for the you can download pattern. the pattern. Yeah. Download the pattern, yeah. and uh, she has a few free patterns on yeah. her site. Oh, yeah. But that's a really good beginner one. The trees. The trees, right? That is, yeah. If you were a beginner, you could easily do that. Yeah. You should be easily be able to yeah, do that. I would thought that'd be quite easy. That one. Um, if you like these decorations, they are that's so easy. They yeah. would be very easy to do because you're just cutting out two triangles. Yeah. You're sewing maybe a quarter inch seam yeah. round. Leave a space at the at bottom, bottom. Turn it through to the right yeah. way. Um, I don't think just just push the seam. I couldn't think I'd say it. you push the seam inside, and then she yeah. looks like she's just glued a stick in. So that would be yeah. really easy. A bit of stuffing. Yeah. So that for a beginner would you be just, really easy. Um, if you don't have um some bamboo or something, what could you use? Just like um a bit of fabric. cinnamon stick. Oh, cinnamon stick. Cinnamon yeah. stick. So it smells pretty. You oh, get them in pop puree bags. Oh. Pot puree. Pot puree. Pot puree. <laughs> you get in the pot puree, you can get cinnamon sticks, yeah. um, anything like that, yeah. a branch off a tree. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anything. Anything. Anything like that. You could roll, you could even roll up a piece of brown felt. Yeah, roll up a piece idea. of brown felt yeah. and glue that, that and you in. could put that in. Yeah. Um, the bunting is a brilliant beginner product. That's, is a be is a brilliant I beginner. Say, if you're a beginner, go for bunting. Again, two triangles like this. Yeah, any size you want. Just sew, yeah, yeah, whatever size you want, just sew and turn through and then bias binding. Yeah. Where's it gone? Uh, <laughs> it's gone. It was there. It's, it's walked it's, away. It's, it's, you, it's designed to fold in fold half. In it's half. already seamed and you fold it in half. So you would just sew across it yeah. and put, your, put the triangles in as yeah. you go. So that. Yeah. And as a so beginner, that's... if you're a beginner bag maker, that is a really easy bag to have a go yeah. at. Yeah. Practice on something. Yeah. You're not too worried about to start with, you know, more, that so you're not bothered time. about. Yeah. Um, you could do it without the without the foam. You could just put a bit of wadding in it. Yeah. You know, like the wadding that we sell to go in the quilts. Yeah. You could use um, that. You could use that. If you wanted it a bit thicker, you could do two layers. Mm. <coughs> Gabbing too much. <laughs> Feel like I've swallowed a fly. A drink. <coughs> cup of tea. Um, Cold cup of tea. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so um, if you've got any questions and you're a beginner, please let us know and we can 
try and help you as much as we can um because obviously we like helping people and because you know when not expert sewers but we're no quite no new. i've only been sewing since so, june last year yeah i was just yeah been sewing. um i've just done it a lot yeah. and whenever i start a new craft i throw myself into it yeah totally and i want to learn to do it the best yeah. i possibly can yeah. that's it furlough helped because when the first furlough came i wasn't working here yeah so I was on furlough and I had three months, nearly three months yeah. at home oh, um, to perfect my craft. Uh, right, now this one, we've shown the little, I've shown little purses before, but I have now... I like how you've put, sorry, that on the front of that. I haven't yet, I have now done a tutorial for this. It's currently on um, my YouTube page, which is Woolly Elephant mm -hmm. um, on YouTube. And then it will should be on the shop, Yeah. the Always Missing and Sewing shop. Uh, youtube channel yeah hopefully th this weekend yeah um but that if you're a beginner again yeah. and you want to learn the little skills for for it's making the, them neater that, right from the beginning a for the 3D trees? no <coughs> in a word no. you just draw it on a bit of paper like yeah. that just literally just get a out. pencil and just go wider as you get yeah. as you go down yeah. it's literally just drawn on a piece of paper yeah um, so you can make it whatever size you want. I am sure if you look online mm -hmm. on YouTube, there, will be there are a couple of different people doing them. There might yeah. be somebody that's got a template. but um, Yeah, just have a sit around. But if you can just draw that shape, yeah, just draw a pe uh, that shape. Yeah. You can do them straight if, to make it easier yeah. for yourself. Yeah. Um, then you can do it whatever size you want. Yeah. Just make sure you allow for a, a seam, seam whether it be quarter inch or half an inch, yeah. which whichever you find easiest. Yeah. If you struggle with a quarter, do a half inch seam. Just make it bigger. Yeah. Cut a bigger piece out. Also, when you before you turn it, cut, put a little snip. Yeah, like you so do round curves. So you're gonna get in it, this the shape. In this pointed this yeah. bit here, put a little snip. Yeah. So that it turns better. Um, but then, but there we go. There's a, this is another big, a good beginner thing to do. It's just a little zipper purse. These are so popular. <laughs> I like them. Um, I, I have one. made stacks of these. Yeah. Uh, people were asking me if I could just do a simple tutorial. Yeah. So I also show you how to do this tab. Oh yeah. At oh, the end, which makes that. it stops your edges sucking in yeah. so much, and and how to make it so it's open, so it opens wider. Yeah. If you put a tab at this end, then it's it's very tight. Yeah. Um, this way, if you do it this way, it means you can yeah. open it quite wide. Um, so it shows you how to do that. If you like very that. Very nice. Very nice. Right. What, we're on, right, nearly. what time are we on? Nearly, um, right. We're just going to show you. Show you. Some we've had some knitted samples, a couple of knitted samples from Starcraft. Yeah. And we've so, had some new yarns. This is the Bambino double knitting style craft and they've made a cute little cute thing. we have unfortunately we haven't got this pattern no. but we've got many others you could knit yeah. how cute how cute is that it's so lovely Just get rid of yeah, the tag get rid of the tag that's it you can have a proper look at it how lovely is that so sweet I love that so soft i didn't realize this bambino you know, was I, so soft i've knitted in that for and i really like that i really like that one what color is that uh this is uh Awesome avocado. It doesn't, shade doesn't looks more yellow than it is on the screen. It is a little bit more green than that. And but... that's the Bambino double knitting style craft. And we've many colours in that. Yes, it's lovely to knit up. Love this next one. And then we've also got this jumper, which we've got this. the pattern. Oh, love the colour of it. Don't we all need this? Oh, for winter. Yeah, I love that. I love so that pattern. Cold. I love that pattern. We it's have like a got tree. the pattern for that. It's um, a, it's soft in Soft it. It's a chunky. Is it a chunky? Yeah, softy yeah, chunky. I'm currently doing a, a jumper in that. Um, it's really nice to knit up, and it knits quick because it's chunky as well. Um, but it's really soft. It's a bit. It's a little bit fluffy. We do have the pattern, so it's soft and Look chunky, and it's pattern nine eight one four, and you get two patterns in that. I think is it two off? Hi Debbie, thanks for yeah. joining us. Yeah, hello. It's it like a tree. It's lovely. It's a treat. I love that. That's so nice. And we've got that in. There's the pattern. Yeah, there's a cardigan on it as well. Oh, it's a cardigan. Yeah. Oh. There's a cardigan on it as well. There's your pattern. There you go. So if you want to knit that. And then we've got that in pink. I don't know if that's what it's called. I think it's, is it not rose? Peony. Peony. Oh. That's peony. Rose hip, which is like a burgundy. That one is oats. The one that's the one the jumper's knitted in. 
And that one is uh, Fig. Lovely colours. I love this. Which is I'm, like a movie colour. I'm missing that one at the minute, but the jumper's done in that one, and I'm actually loving that. It's really nice. I think they're really nice colours, really bold. Yeah. So, that's that one. So, there's some examples of jumpers. Do you want to show the tree quickly? We've also, hang on, we've also got this West Yorkshire Spinners. Yes. We've started selling some West Yorkshire Spinners yarn this week. Just come in. Um, I need to have, I need to give my cup. I have so many things I want to make. <laughs> I know the feeling. Know. Don't have the time. Not so this same. is the West Yorkshire Spinners uh, birds range, mm. I think. This one's not bird. This is a Christmas one, I think. Hollyberry, this one's called. If for oh, all you sock hello, knitters. Mary from Greece. All you sock knitters out there, but you can, equally you can knit hats and gloves and everything. Gloves are nice knitted yeah. in four plan. Yeah. Um, so that's Holly Berry. That's Robin. This is one of the Christmas, a Christmas birdie. Robin. Nice. This one is, I love this one. I bought this that's one. This is Kingfisher. Colour. Love that one. I love the colour that. That'll be next on my needles. <laughs> and then this one's Blue Tip. Do you upcycle jumpers etc. to hats or cardigans? I don't personally, but Sandra's been upcycling yes, jumpers Sandra, and yeah. things into blankets yes. and cushions. If you check out on the uh, knitting, always knit, knitting, knit it, stitch it, share it, share it, uh, Facebook um, page. Jackie's just asked a question. So it's just love the jumper and cardigan. What size does the pattern go up to, please? Um, Forty-eight to fifty inch chest, yeah. which knits up as. Hang on, I'll tell you what that knits to. Fifty-three and a half. So, yeah, so that's not too bad. There you go. This is the last one. We did have this one in stock, but this one sold out straight away. This is the one I've been knitting with, the Christmas one. It's sparkly. Which was fairy light sparkle. Hope we might get some more in. I think, yeah, we probably might And here get we are. This is how they knit up. Gorgeous. This is basically how they all kind of knit up. Yeah. We give you these kind of patterns on them. So they are. They're a, bit, they're a bit sparkly. So these are proper Christmas socks. But if you're a sock knitter... Oh, like go. I say, so unfortunately we've sold out of that one, but it's been because it's gorgeous. It's yeah, been so but that gives you an idea of how all the other ones, yeah, um, will knit we'll up. Knit up. Yeah. So, do we want to just quickly? Do you want a quick look at the our window display? Let's just swing round. And you probably can't see as much because there's light coming through. Obviously, because it's a gorgeous day. Hang on, I'm just jump on to try and turn the stand round. Um, but this is our door. Christmas display. Uh, we have got flashing lights on that tree, so... We've got all our little Christmas makes. We've all made something. Uh, Hazel, uh, one of our customers, has made quite a lot. So thank you, Hazel. Um, and we've got Lynn as well. Thank you to Lynn. She's she basically does. done the whole display. Yeah. So thank you so much. Um, yeah, we've got like our little girl and our little house and our Santa. Yes, I thought it's really, really yeah, cool. Unfortunately, we can't see the house from this side. You no, all can see is the back of it. Lights we've got up. this lit, lit up house. It's got house. silhouettes and it lights up. And so if you're in Charlie or anything, you know, come and just walk by and have a look at our window and, and yeah, have a look at it because it's gorgeous. So thank you, Lynn. Me. Thank you so much. Nick, Nicky's just, I just need everything. Yeah. <laughs> we all do, yeah. <laughs> and so I think that's everything today. I think that's it, it yeah. yeah. So gifts next week. Gifts next week, yeah. We're going to show you... Hang on, let me not talk to an anonymous. We're going to sh going to show you next week. You know all the little Christmas yeah. gifts, scissors, yeah. um, pens, yeah. tape measures, all the little fancy gifts that we've got that we've got left um, to give you some gift ideas yeah. for the crafters in your life or to yeah. just treat yourself. Yeah. For knitters and um, things. So well, there'll not be much in the way of makes next week. Well, no. I imagine we'll have made a few. Yes. Something but will be made. We thought we'd give you some but gift, gift, gift ideas. ideas. Did you make the... The Hung Father Christmas? Christmas? Um, Yes, Lynn did make the Father Christmas. Do you want to Christmas. turn him round? Sorry, I'll turn him round. It's, I think it's a Tilda. You know the Tildas? Yeah. I think it's that. Um, She made it all, bless her heart. Um, so thank you so much. It's, it's so cute. <laughs> so that's our little Father Christmas watching us. Watching yeah. Watching for being good. <laughs> yeah. When we say something we shouldn't, he turns yeah. around. <laughs> And warns us we're on the naughty list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think that's everything today. So until next week. Yes, thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. And we'll uh, see you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, what's <laughs>